New in 2017, the Data Video NVS30 is a video streaming encoder and recorder. It is designed to simultaneously live stream video while recording high quality video files onto a USB drive or SD card. In this video, we will show you some of the features of the Data Video NVS30 and how to do a live stream for your video production as well as record a high quality copy. The NVS30 accepts any HDMI input source and streams the input video directly for broadcast using RTSP and RTMP streaming protocols. The NVS30 supports content delivery networks such as YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and many other streaming platforms. It also supports a variety of media servers and software video players for live streaming. The NVS30 can record files that are the same specifications as your live stream or record higher quality copies. It can record up to 30 megabits per second in either .mov or .mp4 format. To learn how the NVS30 works, let's take a look at the back of the unit. From left to right, you can see connections for power, your LAN network, an HDMI input and output, and two 1 8 inch audio connection ports. The blue port is an input for analog audio, and the green port is an output for headphones and monitoring. On the front of the unit, there are status lights and buttons for streaming and recording. There are also two USB ports and an SD card slot to record your media. To configure the NVS30, connect it to your internet network using an ethernet cable. Then, enter the IP address the NVS30 displays at startup into the internet browser of your computer, tablet, or smartphone on the same network. The default login is admin, and the default password is admin. The four tabs at the top control all the options for configuring and monitoring the NVS30. Under the Settings tab, there are three options, Stream, Record, and Audio. Let's start in the Stream window. You can set the operating mode to Stream Only, Record Only, or Stream and Record. In the Stream Settings window, you can set up your configuration for the live stream. You can save your settings onto profiles for use in different productions and streaming scenarios. In the encoding section, there are presets for quick setup. You can customize your resolution settings as well as your frame rate. Look at the recommended stream settings of your streaming platform for the best settings of your target video data rate, audio data rate, and profile. Also, you should consider the strength of your internet connection. In the streaming section, you can enter all the information needed to connect the NVS30 to your streaming provider. The NVS30 supports many streaming platforms. Simply copy and paste the server URL and stream key from your CDN into the fields of the NVS30. A username and password are only needed if they are required by your CDN. You can click the link in the description below for an in-depth tutorial on how to stream on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Next, let's set up the record settings, which can be the same quality or higher quality than your stream settings. Here you can also save profiles for your settings. You can record it up to 30 megabits per second depending on your needs. The recording section has an option to choose your recording format to MP4 or MOV. The media is a local storage option you want the NVS30 to write your recordings to, which in addition to a USB stick and SD card, could also be a drive on your local network. Next, we will move to the audio settings window, where you can choose your audio source and sample rate if you would like to customize them. The device tab gives you access to settings for basic information. The status window will give you a quick look at all of your configurations. When all of your settings have been completed and you are ready to stream and record, click the control section. You can click the buttons here to start streaming, start recording, or click one button to start both at the same time. After all of your initial settings are completed, you can close the window and start or stop all of your streaming and recording operations from the front of the unit. 
To start streaming, push the stream button. It will blink continuously when you are streaming. For recording, push the record button to start and it will blink continuously when it is recording. To stream and record at the same time, simply push both buttons. If there are any problems, the indicator light under the exclamation icon will blink to let you know. From there, you can access the browser interface and check the status window to troubleshoot the problem. If you have any questions, you can contact our support team, we are happy to help. Check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials and the latest news from Data Video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.